I'm Jenna Carlson here with Gina Mizell. We're at Boone Pickens Stadium where Oklahoma State has defeated Baylor 59 to 24. Gina, Baylor rolls up 622 yards and they lose by five touchdowns. How in the world did this happen? It's the same thing we've seen from this defense all season long. They forced turnovers, they got a couple of goal line stands, stopped uh, Baylor on a couple of fourth and ones, and they just make the big plays, not necessarily in between the 20s, but when they need to make a big play, they, they do, and that's uh, what happened today, and the offense kind of carried that momentum, and that's what led to the win. Seemed like the very first possessions of the game were characteristic of what we're going to see. OSU gets a goal line stand, then they drive 99 yards on a touchdown. It really kind of set the tone. Did you sense this game going the way it did once that happened early in the game? Yeah, I think when you have that big of a momentum swing um, where your defense makes a huge play, stops them, I believe it was four plays in a row inside the two-yard line, and then goes 99 yards and scores, and suddenly it's 7-0. Um, you know, that's a big backbreaker for Baylor. And so, yeah, once that happened, you were kind of like, oh, here we go, because you kind of felt like Baylor had to match OSU touchdown for touchdown for this to be a close game and for Baylor to have a chance. And when you don't cash in that first time, and then the offense goes and scores, scores on a 99-yard uh, drive, not, not looking good for the Bears. Yeah, it looked like Oklahoma State, too, was scoring and moving the ball any way they wanted to. Were you more impressed with the passing game or the running game today? I, I think the running game, personally, just because you had three guys that really played well. Joe, Joe Randall had four touchdowns again, which we asked him after the game, and he's like, well, I'm not sure if I've done that in back-to-back -back games before. He was, he was pretty quick to say that he scored four touchdowns in a game before in high school, um, but then you had Jeremy Smith had 77 yards, and Herschel Sims came in and, you know, late in the game and had a big 81-yard touchdown run, so that was probably more impressive we're used to seeing Brandon Whedon do his thing so the, the the continued progress of the running game and really that they can do whatever they want uh has been really really impressive Justin Blackman comes back and has 172 yards receiving in this game now we point towards next week for just a second Gina K-State comes to town and the Wildcats got beat down pretty good on Saturday by Oklahoma but is this K-State team are they going to pose a threat or is this just another game that Oklahoma State wins pretty easily well I think K-State's obviously been the surprise of the conference they are a good team I don't know if they're an elite team I think that we saw today um, against OU that maybe they haven't quite reached that level that Oklahoma State is that Oklahoma is but this is a team that they kind of are a slower pace they run the ball really well they have a smart quarterback they play good defense so I think it will be you know I, I think a tougher test than Baylor this we thought was potentially going to be a shootout we always knew that Baylor's defense wasn't that you know that great and so it'll be kind of a, a difference of style so I'm curious to see how that goes but based on what happened uh, up in Manhattan today I think that that'll be another win for the Cowboys. All right, we'll have a week to dissect that one. But tonight, Cowboys win easy. And be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoman.